After watching this video, you should be able to describe some of the important lesions causing binocular diplopia or double vision. So this means that this is double vision caused by misalignment of the eyes. And these things are caused generally by lesions occurring to cranial nerve 3, the oculomotor nerve, cranial nerve 4, the trochlear nerve, cranial nerve 6, the abducens nerve, their associated neuromuscular junctions and extraocular muscles, as well as the medial longitudinal fasciculus that connects them. Now, this is a diagram that we saw in a previous video. I just want to point out that lesions causing double vision are occurring downstream of the abducens nucleus. And if you consider the lesions upstream, you're not going to get double vision, but rather problems in the eye movement control system affecting both eyes. If you have lesions of six or lesions of three or lesions of the ascending medial longitudinal fasciculus, you're going to have double vision. So let's take a look at a diagram that we saw in a previous video showing the eye movement control systems. And what we're going to consider first is a lesion of right cranial nerve 3. So let's write cranial nerve 3 lesion. And what we have to do is draw some eyes, either the right eye and the left eye. So we notice that at baseline, the right eye is pulled out, and the person would have double vision at baseline. Now let's have them move their eyes right. Now the right eye is going to have the lateral rectus move the right eye to the right, and the left eye, the medial rectus, is going to work fine, so there's no double vision. But if the eyes go left, what we're going to find is that the right eye is not going to be able to adduct, and the left eye is going to move out, and the person's double vision is going to worsen. And that's what would happen there. Now, if we had a six lesion on the left side, okay, we'll draw the eyes again, there's the right eye, there's the left eye. And we notice at baseline, looking straight ahead, there's no problem, no double vision. And if we ask the patient to move their eyes right, what we'll see is the right eye will be able to move out and the left eye will be able to move in because there's nothing wrong in that part of the pathway. But if the eyes go left, we're going to see that the right eye will be able to move in and the left eye will fail to abduct, and the patient's going to get double vision. Now, if we consider finally a lesion in the right MLF, okay, we'll write that out, right MLF lesion. We'll start off at baseline, so we have the right and left eye. No problem, no double vision. Now, if we ask the patient to move their eyes right, what we're going to find is that the right eye, that's going to be able to abduct, and the left eye is going to be able to adduct. But if we have the eyes go left, the problem here is that the right eye will fail to move in, and the left eye will move out, and the patient will have double vision because there's a problem with the communication between the nuclei. Now, if we ask them to actually converge their eyes, They'll be able to do that because there's nothing wrong with the medial rectus or the right three. It's a communication between them. And actually, when you have a lesion of the MLF this way, it's called an internuclear ophthalmoplegia, a problem with the communication between the abducens nucleus and the contralateral oculomotor nucleus. Now, it's also important to consider when you have these kinds of lesions, for example, in cranial nerve three, Cranial nerve 3 does some other things. So we might expect also that the pupil is large and poorly reactive to light. There might be some ptosis and maybe even perhaps some neighborhood sign affecting the cruce cerebri causing a contralateral hemiparesis. Also for 6, since 6 goes right by the basis pontus, we also might expect as a neighborhood sign a contralateral hemiparesis as well. So it's important to also consider that in addition to the double vision, there may be some other things that help us figure out where the lesion might be causing the double vision. And it's certainly important to know how the patient's eyes are moving when we're asking them to move their eyes left or right so we can figure out what kind of double vision is going on. And that concludes this video on double vision caused by lesions of cranial nerve 3, 6, and the MLF.